Well, by February, we'd already kind of committed on what kind of acres we needed and what kind of seed we needed. And as you, all of us know, it started raining then and it rained most of the year till now. And uh, it made it a hard uh, press for us to get our corn in on time and without water damage. And most of it has had water damage. Uh, we're here today at our shop and this field's pretty high and looks pretty good and I'm pleased with it. But overall, I don't think we'll have a great uh, corn harvest, probably average a little below. And I got this ear today that I just shucked down here. It uh, filled out all the way to the end, which is a good thing. Looks pretty good. I'm ready to get harvesting. It's time, we're about uh, probably 10 days, two weeks out. We're ready and uh, got our bins cleaned up, got the combine ready. And Well, it started off early because we generally uh, apply a burn down so we can get our ground you know cleaned up and ready for planting we had to work in between rains just steadily you know we'd get a rain one week and dry out four days and think we're going to get back to burn down and it rain again so some of the fields didn't get burned down to nearly right up to planting time and then as we got into planting and uh, trying to work up our beds and get them ready the same situation we'd have damp soils we'd have to leave for a while and come back it was just one of those years where it was just too much water up front We've had about five or six of those, but I think this one was worse than, than we've seen in a while. And then, of course, you know the falls too. We had about five bad falls. I'm hoping as we stand here today that this doesn't be a, a wet fall again. Uh, if it is, I, I don't know uh, what people do. You know, I always try to budget out on a kind of a below average thing so we'll have money if we need it to move somewhere else. I think this year our yields will believe below average on the corn and soybeans. Now rice looks pretty good right now, but here it is today, it's probably going to hit 98 and it's all trying to milk down. That generally hurts it a little bit, but I still have high hopes for it. Uh, one of the things I'd like to stop and tell you about it, you said problems. Uh, we had a new crew of H2A guys this year for a lot of reasons, COVID being one of them. And uh, I was so proud that all of them asked to get their shot when they got here. They couldn't get it in Mexico. and we was able to go through the health department and get them shot and I thought that was a tribute to each one of them that they wanted to stay healthy and, and work and we want them that way. I mean it wasn't, but uh, that's another problem that people's had this year with labor getting here and the COVID situation. I mean, you just named problems this year and probably some of us have had them. Everything just hadn't been what we planned. A lot of years are like that, but this has been one of the worst for me. But it's what it is, and we're not going to stop because of it. Uh, we're going to make some kind of crop. It may not be pretty, and it may not be what we want to yield, but we're still here farming every day.